Welcome back to Easy Travels. Join us as we explore Pamukkale. Good morning, everyone. This is day two here uh, in Pamukkale or Hierapolis, as we said yesterday. And today we are starting at the bottom and going up the Tavertine. So we'll see if we can get in. I think we may be the first ones here. We'll find out. So change of plans. Turns out that this one is not open until eight and the other one is the one that's open at 6.30. So we'll have to come down the Tavertine. So we're back in here and we just want to mention that we saw the prices actually changed in the entrance. So you can buy this museum pass that's good for two weeks or a week, depending on which one you get. The, I think, two week one actually is now a thousand Turkish lira, when it used to be 800 Turkish lira just yesterday. And the fee to enter this site yesterday was 150 Turkish lira, and today it's 200, so. As we mentioned yesterday, the pro tip is to go to the opposite end of where the Tavertines start, so that you can get the picture with everything in the back. We were so excited, we parked, no one was in line. Turns out the other entrance had more people, and there's people already inside. So if you remember from yesterday, this place was packed. Some people are already down there in the tavern teams because they got here earlier. I'm gonna try to head down there as quick as we can. Time for pro tip number two. If you see right here, there's a, a water that's running down and it's dividing these two areas. Go on the right side of it because this floor is a lot smoother. So your feet will thank me later. Okay, now we're gonna go into the water. Yesterday was warm, we'll see how it is. Today, oh, these things hurt. But just on this one. Oh my God, the water is cold. I'm literally stepping on rocks and it hurts. So I just wanted to share that Pamukkale is actually the cotton castle because it looks like that, but from that I mentioned, it's not the softest thing to walk on. Well, some places are fine, but some others are pretty tough. I wish it was made of actual cotton. That would be a lot softer on my feet. Oh, this is nice. Look at how clear this water is. You having fun? Yeah. So we're going to go into one of them already, but I just want to point out that some of the water is pretty warm and some of it is pretty cold. But it's still amazing just to be here. Seeing the city on your right, this on the left, and just the entire formations here are amazing. Oh, this is one of the warm ones. That's when it's good. Here we go to the edge to get one of those Instagram photos where Andres posing and I try to capture it and see how well I do. <laughs> so this feels interesting. It's like, a, of course, naturally occurring, but I'm not sure what it is. It's a little muddy, but it's so white. It feels like clay to me, but even though here there is more clay and it's soft. There's still little pieces of rock, so you still have to be careful where you step on. So if you're wondering why Andrea looks a little different, she's in her Instagram clothes. So I'm gonna take a photo. We'll take a break, but we'll be back. Your Instagram has been for a little bit. <laughs> you could swim in here, but it's not deep enough. Um, it just goes up to my calves, but you could lay down and soak up the water that way. And I would wanna do like a mask with the sand <laughs> on your face. The price of Getting that photo. So I know we always repeat this, but the mornings are definitely better. Sure, the sunset, maybe it's easier for some people to get here, but in the morning it's just better because there's less people. You can walk around and enjoy it freely. Even though there are some people here already, you can still feel in some pockets, like if you're by yourself or just a little more secluded. So definitely come in the mornings. I'm also worried about when there's more people, I'm just bumping into everyone and it's kind of slippery. So you have to be careful with that. Water so clear until you start walking. This is the clay, it feels so good. Can I do a face mask? <laughs> So we're done here and we're leaving just as the crowds are arriving. There's a lot of people now and it's just shy of 8.30 in the morning. So definitely come when it opens. And the problem is all the people stay stuck in the same area. So 
it's sort of difficult to maneuver. Look at some of the crowds that are just arriving. We're here just sitting enjoying the view and I'm wondering whether it's maybe even better if you just wait till 8 and the bottom entrance opens because most of the people stay stuck up here. There aren't many people that make it down there in the first place. Most of the shots that are better for photos, videos, etc. are at the bottom. So I think maybe you wait at 8. Of course, it's included in our room stay, which is great. Just got some simple breakfast stuff. We're gonna eat and then we'll catch you in the room tour. This is our room we're staying at, the Venus Suite. Uh, here we have the essentials and I like that there's a skylight, so it is bright during the day. And we have a pocket door here. And then as you walk in, we got a double bed and I like the seating here. So I like this aesthetic, it kind of reminds me of a cabin. There's a lot of mirrors on the wall, so it feels a little bit bigger. What I like about the most from this space was the balcony. From here, we can even see Pamukkale, which was a five minute drive, which allowed us to get there early and still have enough time for breakfast before we have to check out. We definitely recommend you coming to this spot and I think this hotel is a good one. It's affordable, it's around 900 Turkish lira. No elevator, so Eddie has to carry my stuff. Only five days that I brought a carry on. <laughs> So we got our supper ready and we're about to check out and that's gonna be it for Pamukkale. We'll see you in our next video.